Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Woke up. giant dogs. They want affection. See? Head down. Just like that. Yes. They're as smart as an eight-year-old child. Sometimes they're too smart for their own good, aren't they, Miss Lilia? And they're as stubborn as an eight-year-old child. Do whatever they want to do. Yes. <coughs> Gina! They're actually incredibly good for the environment. They're really good agricultural animals. They've got flat feet, they're squishy and they're like pads. So when they actually press down onto the ground, they go like that and they evenly distribute their weight. So they don't cause soil erosion like buffalo and cow and horses and things like that. They actually flatten out the land. You can use their milk. And some people drink camel urine too. Oh, come on. They do. No, I have not tried it. No. <laughs> this is Camilla, she's considered a very beautiful camel. Not at the moment because she's got a little bit of dermatitis. Beautiful lips, she's got a really beautiful shaped head. She's got long, long eyelashes. She's actually got a, a very symmetrical, beautiful face. Um, and she's got a lovely hump and beautiful colouring as well. She is considered a pretty camel. Besides the fact at the moment, got a bit of dermatitis. Hey Taylor, Fraser's got a tick on her bum hole. Great. So we're going to have to try and hold her down and take that off her. It's a very glamorous life that I lead. <laughs> Got it! Yes. Look at that. Look how big that is. That huge big kick. Like you know in the middle of the night when you it's really cold and you go to the toilet and then you're like you're concentrating on trying to pee but you're half asleep and you sit there and you go Ugh. but it's all mental it's all emotional there we go she's letting down now you see they're so incredibly emotional and they're like soothing on the soul it's just so relaxing <laughs>